Hello friends, this is Sharpesh here and welcome again to my channel Code with Dave. So in this video we are going to learn about the Angular routing and uh, there is a segment called Fragment so which you can see in the URL with the head. So we are going to see how we can do same kind of uh, routing with the Angular. So first before moving to that, uh, let's see what is the Fragment URL. So basically it's it's nothing but a link in the URL with the head where uh, it jumps to a content which contains the ID mentioned in the fragment of a angular router so basically you have some fragment there with the hash and there will be one uh, div or other text with the same ID uh, with, uh, which is the same string as the hash URL and it will jump directly onto that particular uh, ID. So it is a basically a inter internal page reference sometimes it's also called the anchor and it is usually appear at the end of the URL so you must be seeing something like uh, this so here you can see like this is a fragment uh, so we'll uh, go through it in the details so with javascript you can manipulate these urls and can add history elements to the browser so basically like if you uh, manipulate your uh, pages with the back and forth button of the browser at the time like you can manipulate those things uh, with this uh, fragment or anchor and uh, like you can move back and forth with that we are going to see that also in the demo and like as I said like it will jump to the particular hash or the id which has the uh, same string as uh, the url so here you can see like this is the example there and you can see there is a url called uh, http uh, uh, code with jv.com slash read article and then we have a fragment called print so this is the particular url there and this is the fragment url so now how we can achieve those kind of functionality with the angular so we are going to see that in the demo this particular angular 10 applications okay and uh, let's first uh, directly jump into the app routing module so here you can see what i have done is i have created a route uh, constant with the routes right and then what i have done is I have added the route option with the type of extra option. So extra options is a kind of a set of a configuration options for a route model provided in the for root method. So here you can define the some extra options and which is required for uh, has or, in, uh, or anchor routing in the Angular. So we are going to see what are they. So first option is uh, scroll position restoration. So what it will do is like it, it, will, it will say uh, that uh, uh, in the browser when you hit back or forth button it will maintain the scroll position. So let's say it, uh, there are multiple uh, fragments there which we are going to see in, in a moment. So at that time we are going to see how it stores the scroll position there. Then the another thing is anchor scrolling. So this is the main part where we have anchor scrolling there and uh, which tells Angular that uh, anchor scrolling is available. And that particular router option is passed here. So here you can see. So that is the router options there and I have put a dead stuff. Now in the app component what I have done is I have created three divs uh, with the different ID so here you can see this is the part one then this is the part two and this is the part three now uh, I have also created three buttons there you can see and there is a button click event which is written in the app component.ts file so here I am passing the fragment so let's say if I am clicking on the part 1, like the go to part 1 button, then it is passing part 1. If I, get, I click on the go to part 2, then it is passing the part 2. And the third one is part 3. So now you can see like this a particular application is running on the uh, with the ng build command. So let's directly jump into the browser and see how it works. So here you can see like th uh, this is the part one and some text and there is a part two and the third one is the part three so now if i click on this what it will do is it will pass this particular 
of uh, swing into the button click function which is uh, defined here and then uh, we can do same thing uh, with the router so here i am using router navigate by url and then i am putting the hash and the fragment so in our case like if i click to go to part one then the hash will be part one so if i click on this so here you can notice uh, uh, there is a part one there right and if i go to part two so here you can see like the part two is appeared after the hash same way for the part three and as i told you like you can also miss uh, maintain the history so here you can see like you are main uh, the browser maintains the history by default for this stuff so here you can see like it is very easy to uh, do the uh, fragment rounding in the angular and uh, you have also seen the demo there so main part is this one like uh, you need to pass this extra route options to maintain this call position and the anchors calling so uh, like if, if i am on the part three so, so here you can see like the scroll position is also maintaining if i am in the part two then also the scroll position is being maintained and uh, if i am on the part one that that is also there right so so you can see like we, we can add this kind of functionality very easily and uh, uh, we can do such amazing things with angular so that's it for this video and don't worry about the source code i'll put a github link url in the my video description and if you like this video then please do subscribe to my channel that is called uh, ttps bitly slash code with jerry and hope to see you in the next video thank you for watching